guys, it's Bill Vinci from the Empire Plate Show. Today we're back in Clinton, New York. We're at a place called the Brimfield Winery. Now this place has got a lot of history behind it. It's an old schoolhouse over 100 years ago. It used to be a dairy farm. Now that the family's turned into a winery and they got a beautiful setting that overlooks all the trees and everything. So it's a really cool place. So we're gonna go inside and meet with John and Tisha, see what they got planned for us. Come on, follow me in. Okay, I am with John and Tish. How are you guys doing today? Good. Doing wonderful. It's great to be here. Great to have you. What a gorgeous place you guys got. Thank you. It's the first time over here, and when I walked in, I said, I walked inside, and I go, it's absolutely beautiful. What a, what a nice place. Kind of like a hidden gem out of the way, but gorgeous. So let's hear a little bit about the history behind this place and how this whole thing started. Uh, Brimfield Farm was purchased by my grandparents in 1918, and they erected the barn. Um, right away, half of it went up then, and the following year, the rest of it went up. And it was a dairy farm, produce, squash, potatoes, that type of thing, um, for 90 years. Um, Tisha and I, we operated the dairy farm for close to 30 years. Okay. And we dispersed our herd in 2008, um, not really knowing what the next step was going to be. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we more or less reinvented ourselves. Uh, with the driving range first in 09. Okay. And slowly built to this that we're sitting in right now, which was the hay mow to our uh, dairy barn. So we like to call it um, our chill spot. Yeah. This is our chill spot. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So wine now that, that's what you guys do now. So tell me a little bit about some of the different wines, some of the white and red wine that you guys have here. Well, we have a variety okay. of reds and whites, dry, sweet. Um, some of them are named after the history that okay. pertains to here, like our District 10. Uh -huh. has to do with a little schoolhouse that's, that's next door where John's dad and um, his aunt both went to school. Oh, okay. And you guys do have on top of the wine, you do have some wine slushes, we talked about that. And they kind of change as the season goes. So. You just came off the blueberry, you said, but now you guys are getting more into the fall with the apple. And and what's the other one down there you got today? It's a Catawba. And what's what's that? It's a basically a real fruity mm -hmm. uh, type of grape. It's got a lot of character. It makes a great slushy. Okay. Because uh, slushy are on the sweeter side to begin sure. with. Sure. Right. But it has a lot of character. The wine does, I believe. The, it does. The, it the, does. It's, it's, it's fruity. It's floral. Uh huh. A little sweetness. A little tartness oh. to it. Okay. So it's, it's popular. Very good. Now you guys do. I know you guys don't do food here, but you do have some like some of the cheeses and, and, and some of the meat, pepperoni and stuff like that. Tell us a little bit about that. It's all local cheese. Um, we have Jake's Gouda from Dean's Oh yeah, yep. And several different varieties of the Gouda. Yep. Of smoked and baby Gouda and aged Gouda and jalapeno blend, uh, all the different. And also Collins Farm from uh, Rome. Mm -hmm. um, they uh, recently started uh, dealing with them, we have, uh, for cheese curd and they do a really nice job with that. Yeah, there it is, guys. So if you're watching, you have, you have local crackers that you guys want to provide here at Brimfield, definitely get a hold of them and let them know. Um, that's awesome, and we're upstairs singing this beautiful uh, upper level where you guys do some small parties and stuff up here. So, I mean, look at oh, look at the view we got behind us. It's absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Gorgeous. Awesome. Yeah, we get spoiled with it. I'm sure you do, yeah, absolutely. So I guess next we're gonna go down to the bar. We're gonna sample some of these wines, uh, probably do a flight or two and, and try some of them out. And then we'll probably get some of the cheeses and some of the meats. And looking forward to a fun day today, guys. Thank you so much for having us here. Thank you. Try whites on one side. Okay. They go from dry to sweet. I do like. I am a. I, I do like the sweets a little bit better. You know and we also have a blueberry that we Ooh, may. We, we still have. Try that. Yep. Yeah. I think we're gonna. I think I'll do the blueberry. Here we go. This looks good. So it's oaky. It's nice and smooth. Yeah, it is. Gives you a variety of flavors. Hardcastle. Yeah. Now this one is on the sweeter side. Okay. 
but it's not one of those that's going to taste like syrup. You're going to get a little bit of a honeydew, and it's nice and smooth. We say it's dangerous, because you're going to be looking for the hole in the bottom of the bottle. Wow. Aunt Harriet, she wasn't going to want to so Aunt Harriet, Harriet. Put into the oak barrel, <laughs> and she comes out oh, a little geez. dry and oaky. Okay? Oh boy! Poor Aunt, Aunt Harriet. Harriet. <laughs> Sunset blueberry. It's a semi-dry. The blueberries are sourced locally, so taste it. It's all blueberry. There's no grape. There's nothing else added to it. It's just all blueberry. That's good. Oh, that's really good. I'm a big fan of blueberries. I like, I like this a lot. <laughs> but time of the season now, it's over. It's not starting to get into the fall flavors, but this is delicious. That's that's definitely one of my favorites so far. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Tastes like summer's coming back next week. <laughs> you Centennial. And the name Centennial we named it Centennial, I should say, is because when we opened the winery, it was the 100th anniversary of the farm. So that's the Centennial. Oh, okay. But this is a Deshaunic grape, and it's very fruity. A little different than the other. A little, little sweetness. A little sweetness to it. Too much. Mm. Mm, that's good. Favorite so far, you're still going with the blueberry. Blueberry. Yeah, I gotta go with the blueberry right now. It's my favorite one. That's actually really, really good though. I Hugo like that. Very close second. Oh yeah, delicious. yeah. I do like my sangrias. That's delicious. Ooh. Makes you smell. Smells like summer. It does. You know, like full size. Yeah. There. Oh god, these could go down Refreshing. easy. Yeah. Mm. Delicious. Tish, thank you so much. You're That's welcome. absolutely thank delicious. You. All right, guys, so we just had our wines, and now we got a meat and cheese board here that they brought us out, Ryan. This is actually really nice. So we got some sharp cheese here. We got, what we got here? We got Gouda. We got some Gouda, and we got some cheese curd. We got a little salami and a little pepperoni. Um, and it just kind of pairs nice with all the different wines we had, but we all we drank those inside. So now we're going to try a little of this, uh, some of the meat and cheese here. Salami and Gouda. As you can see, we're sitting out on the deck. Got beautiful outside right here. You got the little golf range out here. You got the trees. Um, wow, the cheese is really good. I like that. See how the salami and the, and the cheese curd taste. We're just kind of picking away out here. Enjoying. It's good. I mean, this is perfect. Now, also, if you order one of these boards, you pick and choose the cheeses, the meat you want, and crackers. They give you the whole setup. They give you a knife. You basically set it up yourself. You cut the cheese, you put all the, the meats on it, the crackers. If you have a larger party and you got six, eight people, ten people coming, you got to pre-order one. They'll put it together for you and they'll put it on the table. So um, it's it's good, right? Oh yeah, love the cheese, love the meats. Wine. Now we need more wine with it. Mm -hmm. Yes, we got to get we got to get more wine. So really cool little uh, cheese and meat board here. All right, guys, we just finished up another incredible show of the Empire Plate here in Clinton, New York at the Brimfield Winery. John and Tish, I want to thank you guys so much for an amazing day. Thank, thank this you, was so fun. Thank you. Great job behind the bar here with, the, with Servant. This is a very unique and fun place. We had so much fun. Like I said, when we first walked in, the place is gorgeous. I mean, it's something different. And the wine we had was out of this world. It's, it's just incredible. The cheese, the, the, uh, the, the meat we had was fantastic. So we're looking forward to coming back. The only thing we didn't get to do is hit a few golf balls. We walked out there, we were just about to put money in the thing, and it downpoured on us. So we're gonna have to come back and hit some golf balls, Ryan, right? right? That's right. So, but this is definitely a place you're gonna to wanna to check out. Make sure you like their Facebook page and come check this place out in Clinton. Unfortunately, we have to leave for the day, but I'll definitely be back to visit these guys. I'm your host, Bill Vinci and Ryan Vinci of the Empire Plate Show. You guys have a great day. Perfect. <laughs> So what other wines do you guys like? What else? The diamond. The diamond. It's so nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, drank all of mine. Yeah. <laughs> she drank the slushy mix slushy and we're going in with the, uh, the slushy twist. Yep. Okay. It's the apple and catawba. What do you guys have today? We have slushies. 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 We did a twist. Like, you did I the twist I, too. I thought I was at the ice cream store. You know what? That's, and you got, did you get the twist too? I did. Really? 
See, I would have never put that two, those two together, but it, we had a table over there, so they it's did the delicious. same thing. Delicious.